Greetings Team Colleton and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We are excited about the new possibilities that will be explored as we provide instruction to our students in innovative ways, thus being our new reality. As we focus on the learning that matters most, let us ensure that we support our families commit to a solution-oriented mindset for problem solving, keep our collegial friendships ongoing, and most importantly, take care of ourselves. As we move forward, you might ask, will we be presented with challenges? The answer, yes we will. But we will meet those challenges with a weak hand attitude as we are all in this together. Together we can, and together we will. Today, as we unite as one, work as one, think as one, and serve our community as one, let us forge ahead with enthusiasm and motivation, knowing that we will all come out of this experience stronger, more knowledgeable, and most importantly, with a greater sense of optimism knowing that there is nothing we can't achieve together. Mr. Warren will now come before you with words of wisdom and the introduction of our Teachers of the Year. Greetings to all of our dedicated staff members of Carlton County School District. At this time, we'd like to take a few minutes just to recognize our 2019-2020 award winners. As always, our district has many amazing employees and never has this been more evident than this past year, especially under our very difficult circumstances. As always, when our district is faced with challenging situations, we can always count on Team Colleton employees to get the job done. Thank you, Team Colleton, for the job you do and to all of our school winners and to all of our district winners. Our first recognitions are our Support Employees of the Year. Our Support Employees of the Year are selected at individual locations and then go through an application process for the District Support Employee of the Year. At this time, we will call out our location winners for 2019-2020. Representing Bells Elementary School, Ms. Angela Samuels Williams, Computer Lab Assistant. Representing Black Street Early Childhood Center, Jocelyn Grant, Bookkeeper Administrative Secretary. Representing Colleton County High School, Courtney Singleton, PBSS. Representing Colleton County Middle School, Angela Crosby, Administrative Secretary. Representing Cottageville Elementary School, Ms. Sevilla Ann Brock, Teacher Assistant for Special Ed. Representing Forest Hills Elementary School, Ms. Monica Adams, Media Assistant. Representing Hendersonville Elementary School, Chris Owen, Student Nutrition Operator. Representing Northside Elementary School, Ms. Mary Lee, Power School Secretary. Representing TCTC, Ms. Hannah Templeton, bookkeeper, representing our district office and other offices across the district. From the Technology Center, Mr. Darrell Irwin. And our bus driver of the year, representing student transportation, Ms. Catherine Folk. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big, big round of applause to all of our location winners. Now, for our Support Employee of the Year for Colleton County School District, representing our entire district, our winner is a graduate of Waltzboro High School. She has served as a volunteer for Disaster Relief and for her church reading and math camp. She is currently serving as a special education teacher assistant, and she's been employed with Colleton County School District for 14 years. Please join me in recognizing our 2019-2020 District Support Employee of the Year, 
Ms. Sibylla Ann Brock, Cottedville Elementary School. Congratulations, Ms. Brock. At this time, we would like to recognize our Rookie Teacher of the Year. We have many first-year employees, and teachers are especially important to our district. Every year, we'd like to recognize at least one of our Rookie Teacher of the Year to represent our district as Rookie Teacher of the Year. This Rookie Teacher is a product of Colleton County School District and has come back home to be employed. Her principal and her staff speak very highly of her, and she's done an outstanding job. Ladies and gentlemen, our Rookie Teacher of the Year for Colleton County School District, Ms. Heather Nicole Evans, Forest Hills Elementary School. Congratulations, Ms. Evans. And now, it gives me a great honor and a privilege to be able to recognize our Teachers of the Year at all of our schools. Again, each school is responsible for nominating and selecting their Teacher of the Year. Each school winner submitted an application that was reviewed by an outside committee to determine our three honor roll finalist teachers. Please join me now in recognizing our Teacher of the Year winners. Representing Bells Elementary School, third grade teacher, Sarah High. Representing Black Street Early Childhood Center, preschool teacher, Ms. Kenlock Bell, representing Coffin County High School, special education teacher, Ms. Wanda Ashworth Valencia, representing Coffin County Middle School as the teacher, Melanie Henderson, representing Cottonville Elementary School, 4K teacher, Ms. Zatoya Pinkney, representing Forest Hills Elementary School, second grade teacher, Mr. Romeo Amaga Jr., Representing Hendersonville Elementary School, first grade teacher, Ms. Lisa Griswold. Representing Northside Elementary School, music teacher, Ms. Jennifer Button. And representing Thunderbolt Career and Technology Center, drafting teacher, Mr. David Fanchette. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to our Teachers of the Year. Again, each of these winners had to submit an application, and that was reviewed by an outside committee to determine our three finalists. The three finalists were announced at our school board meeting last May, and the three finalists did have to submit a second application that included a video of them responding to a series of educational questions. The videos were reviewed and scored by another outside committee to determine our district teacher of the year. At this time, again, we will recognize our three finalists. Representing Bells Elementary School, Sarah Pye. Representing Cottonville Elementary School, Zatoya Pinkney. Representing Northside Elementary School, Jennifer Button. Let's give our finalists a big round of applause. Before we recognize our Teacher of the Year for the district, it gives me a great honor and a privilege to be able to recognize our outgoing Teacher of the Year, Ms. Sarah Fielder from Cottonville Elementary School, who has done an outstanding job representing Cottonville County School District. At this time, let's hear a few words from Ms. Sarah Fielder. Hey teachers, here we are ready to start a whole new school year. Normally, we're well rested and excited and full of anticipation of what this year is going to bring. But this year feels different, and that's because this year is going to be different. We're excited, but we're a little scared. We're preparing, but we're not all the way ready just yet. As much as this could worry us, I hope that it won't. I will not let it worry me, because I'm a teacher, and I know what is possible. I believe teachers are incredible. I believe that teachers are magic makers. I believe that teachers can do hard things. This year will be full of new and different challenges. We are going to be doing something that no one has ever done before. When things are hard, don't forget your why. We need to make sure that our students remain our priority. We have been away from them for far too long, and as excited as we are to see them, I know they're just excited to see us as well. This year, please remember how important you truly are. Know that you are doing your best and not everything is going to be perfect. Take time for yourself and spend time with the people who mean the most to you. 
Remember that we're all in this together, and we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. So let's go out and do exactly what we were meant to do. Have an amazing school year. Thank you, Ms. Felder, and thank you again for representing Colony County School District. So now for our District Teacher of the Year. Our Teacher of the Year has 21 years of teaching experience, 17 in her current position. She has an uh, undergraduate degree from Converse College and a master's from Walden University and is currently working on another master's from Anderson University. Our 2020 Teacher of the Year from Northside Elementary School, Miss Jennifer Button. At this time, we'll now hear a few words from our Teacher of the Year, Miss Jennifer Button. Congratulations, Jennifer. Hi, Team Colleton. I really wish I was at the Colleton County High School Performing Arts Center with all of you, like the other years, instead of on video, but this isn't a year like all the others. Over the past few months, and especially the past few weeks, several words have popped up in my mind constantly. Fear, frustration, uncertainty, giving up and hopeless, just to name a few. If we were in the Performing Arts Center, this is where I feel sure I would see a great many of you head nodding in agreement. But on the other hand, if we were in the Performing Arts Center, we'd be reminded we're not alone. Every member of Colton County School District is feeling the words that I had mentioned and then some. As a matter of fact, you may be going through something you may never talk about, but you are never alone. Every building in Colton County School District has a family who understands and is there to support and help you carry this load as well as any other laundry list of valid concerns. As we begin our journey into whatever the school year holds, I want to remind everyone we are all in the same boat, paddling as hard as we can and constantly plugging the holes that continue to pop up. But we do it as a crew and a team. We will continue to do so, ensuring our boat stays afloat and stays the course to sail towards success. It's okay to be frustrated, scared, and uncertain, but just remember what Jimmy Buffett says, breathe in, breathe out, then move on. This past week was especially the hardest for a great deal of us. At times it was for me. In the middle of all this uncertainty, hope arose. In the middle of distributing supplies, a second grader pulled up, rolled down her window, smiled a beautiful smile, and said, Miss Button, I've missed you so much. At this point, the negative words moved to the back of my mind where they belong. Trust me, they're still there lurking around. And that's okay, but I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on the kids and parents who smiled so big, thanked us, told us how excited they were to be back and who reminded us that through all the negative, our purpose is the kids who are feeling exactly the same way we do. So today I'd like to share with you some words of wisdom from a fabulous first grader at Northside. In a special YouTube message this weekend to teachers, Mr. Carter Deal gave us the following tips. Be nice. Always have a treat jar. Bonus if it's chocolate, but make sure you can have treats too. The mute button is your new best friend. Take breaks. That's for kids and for teachers. Find some time for you. Here's my favorite. Wear PJs, if at all possible, but only on the bottom. Wear something nice on the top. It's like a mullet, business at the top, party at the bottom. I end all of my Bunton Music Minutes with a song of joy. Mine for today is We Are Family by Sister Sledge. We truly are all in this together and will continue to succeed because that's what teachers do. So have grace with yourself and others. Turn to your school families. When in doubt, dance it out. And remember, you're not alone. Have a great year. Collington County School District's motto is preparing every child today for tomorrow. Our children are our future. None of us would be in this profession without our precious customers. Because as you know, we work for kids. Today, you will hear words of wisdom from several students. The first student is a third grade Cougar Cub from Forest Hills Elementary School. Please welcome Miss Lillian Mitchell. 
Hi, my name is Lilia. I go to Forces Elementary. I was taught by an international teacher who made me excited about learning. I'm looking forward to a great school year. I want to wish all teachers and students a good luck and a enjoyable, safe school year. Bye. Thank you, Lilia. Next, we will hear from a 12th grade Colleton County High School Cougar. Please welcome Ms. Ann Thomas. Hi everybody, my name is Ann Mathis Thomas and I am the student body president here at Colleton County High School. Although this year is going to look quite a bit different, I'm still excited to be approaching my senior year. It's very bittersweet, but I'm ready to see what's in store this school year and make the most out of it. Throughout this new school year, I hope that we can all work together and grow to just make this school year the best despite our new normal and just maintain a positive attitude throughout it all. I would like to recognize and extend a huge, huge thank you to all of our teachers and staff for all of the hard work that they have already put into our school year. Us students would not be who we are or where we are without our teachers and staff guiding us throughout our years at school. We've always heard that teachers are superheroes, but although that is true, this school year or this new year has taught us that teachers are so, so much more. Superheroes cannot even compare. And I would also like to extend a huge thank you to our school board for inviting me here today and for all of the time and work that they have spent planning this school year and ensuring that it's going to happen. Whether you are doing virtual or face-to-face, -face, I wish you the best, and I hope that you make the best out of your school year. And I thank you all, and I hope you stay safe. Bye. And now we will hear from Quavion Nimmons, a fifth grade Hendersonville Elementary honeybee. Hello, my name is Quavion Monterio Nimmons. I am in the fifth grade. My teacher name is Miss Mir. I would like to thank Collington County School District for allowing me to speak on inspiration. My goal is to be a chef when I grow up. I know it takes a lot of work on becoming a great chef, but I have confidence and courage that I can do it. When we had to stop school in the spring because of COVID-19, I was sad but it gave me more time to learn about the cooking part of it. So now I'm more inspired than ever. My mom and dad always tell me great things that give me courage, boost my confidence, so I'm really an inspiration to myself. And to each and every student out there just know that you can inspire yourself or be an inspiration to others. And remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, and social distance. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our interim superintendent, Mr. John Tyndall. Mr. Tyndall has over 40 years of education experience and degrees from Morris College and Winthrop University. He has worked as a teacher, principal, and associate superintendent in districts across South Carolina. He has previously held superintendent positions in Allendale and Clarendon County School Districts. In addition to his service as an educator, he has served as a member and chairman of the South Carolina State Board of Education and the Marlboro County Board of Education. When Mr. Tyndall was elected chairman of the Marlboro County School Board of Education, he became the first African American elected to a countywide office in Marlboro County. He has also held leadership positions in the South Carolina Superintendents Association and the South Carolina Association of School Administrators. Let's give a warm Team Colleton welcome to Mr. John Tyndall. 
to the Board of Trustees, District Administration and Staff, School Administrators, Teachers and Support Staff, and especially to all of those teachers who are new to the profession and those who are new to College and Campus School District, and also to any new administrator uh, in, within our district. I bring you greetings on our virtual convocation program today. First, I want you to uh, pause with me, uh, join with me in a moment of silence in remembrance of our students, staff, and personal family members who have gone on to be with the Lord since we last had our opening convocation ceremony. Let us bow. Amen. Let me first take this opportunity to, to uh, let you know how pleased I have been since I've been here and associated with the district in the capacity in which I, I'm serving. I'm also pleased with what has occurred during the end of the school year, how well you have performed uh, from March through the end of the school year, and not just teachers, but all of our employees. Uh, we transition, we continue to provide instructional services to our students and their families, and also we provided them with other services, including our food service throughout that period of time. On Tuesday, September 8th, we will welcome more than 5,200 students to the start of the 2021 school year, both virtually and face-to-face -face in person. All of you, teachers, guidance counselors, administrators, and support staff have been working hard to prepare for this upcoming school year. Please know that your efforts are appreciated. If there's any one thing we have learned over the past five months, it is that the situation with COVID-19 changes constantly. But our purpose has not changed. Our goal is to provide the best possible education for all of our students. While we are being asked to do some things we have not done before, that does not mean that we cannot do these things, nor that we do not need to do them. We must be willing to explore more and new territories in order to broaden our own horizons and those of our students, parents, and the greater community of Collington County. I am optimistic about the 2021 school year, even though I do not have the physical vision to see around the corners, but all the knowledge to know every challenge, confrontation, or obstacle we will face this school year. But I believe we are going to make it through this year with many successes. However, we must have the courage to make the changes required of us. It is important for us to embrace the changes we will experience this year. Virtual instruction will be a change from the traditional instruction delivery that we are accustomed to providing our students. Our in-person instruction also will be a change from our formal traditional instruction too, including wearing face covering, more physical hygiene practices, social distancing by staff and students. Our district is required to follow all CDC, DHEC, and Carleton County guidelines and ordinances that are in place. Our district must have the collective commitment and the will of all of us to meet the needs of all of our students. Therefore, every student 
is and must be a priority and is given individual attention to his or her particular need. Students have a preferred learning style and we will still have to motivate our learners so that they will maintain interest in and see the benefits in the subject matter and instruction they will receive. They will receive and be expected to master at their respective grade levels. We must collaboratively more than ever before to provide enriched learning opportunities utilizing the variety of resources available to you through the district and the South Carolina Department of Education. We must set high academic and conduct standards. The teaching of reading and literacy skills must continue to be a primary area of focus at all grade levels. We must continue to challenge and grow our gifted and talented students. We must continue to increase our on-time graduation rate. We must reduce our dropout rate. We must increase our in attendance rate. Enrollment and attendance are important. State revenues to the school district are based on enrollment and attendance rate. This year, we must compete with ourselves. That is, we must compete against our last best effort. We know where we are and we know where we've been. We need to make a quantum leap above our last best effort in all areas, including all areas in which we are rated or graded. A successful school system has a sound finance management system. The board of trustees, the superintendent, and all employees must be responsible stewards of the financial resources provided for school operations by our citizens. The 2021 general fund budget has not been prepared by the administration and approved by the board of trustees because the state legislature has not approved a state budget to date. We believe this will become accomplished in mid to late September. Currently, we are operating under a continuing budget resolution, which means we are operating on the 2019-2020 budget. Student enrollment impacts district funding and district staffing. The district has advertised for a chief finance officer to assume the duties of our former director of finance. This is a critical position and we will need to employ a person who is eminently qualified to provide leadership for our department of finance and we are working diligently to do so. We have purchased a new learning content management system to supplement curriculum and instruction of our teachers as they deem appropriate. We have spent funds to purchase personal protective equipment, physical distance signs and barriers, and sanitation supplies and equipment in order to reduce the risk of exposure when learning and, and working. I am confident and comfortable with our safety protocols because we are complying with the guidelines from the Centers of Disease Control, South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, and the South Carolina State Department of Education. Our plan is to retain all employees who were employed with the district at the time our schools were closed on March 13, 2020. 
Let me extend further on the retention of employees by saying that any employee whose performance is ineffective, is insubordinate, and exhibit unacceptable conduct and character, immoral behavior, violation of a state or federal law, or a school board policy, such employees will not be retained. Due process rights will be afforded to all employees as required by law and policies. I want to further state that I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our employees who have been recognized or will be recognized this year for various, various honors, including our Teacher of the Year and the school level Teachers of the Year. Congratulations. I want to congratulate our district level support staff of the year. Congratulations to you as well. I also want to extend congr congratulations to those individuals who decided to retire at the end of the prior school year, this past school year. We want to extend our congratulations to you and wish you longevity in your retirement. I also want to congratulate those individuals who have upgraded their certificates and those who have earned additional degrees, advanced degrees. You've worked diligently and we want you to know that we are proud of you and we, have, we congratulate you on these accomplishments. Now, because we are preparing our students for a time that we do not exactly know exactly what it will be like when they get there, this makes our work more important today than it has ever been before. The education of all of our children is what we have promised the students, parents, and the greater community of Carleton County. As always, if, if you need support or have questions, do not hesitate to contact your principals or reach out to us. Again, I'm excited to be here as we open up the 2021 school year. I'm glad that all of you are aboard and with us on the Carleton team. I wish for you that you will have a safe and successful 2021 school year. Thank you. Team! Carleton! Team! Carleton! Team! Carleton. Team.